Hi friends, I'm Sandeep Singh and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do inheritance in Java. So let's get started. Now let me first tell you what is inheritance. Let's say we have a class called dog. So dog.java and inside this class let's say this dog is going to have a nickname. Let me just make a function which returns a nickname for this dog. So public static and this function is going to return a string. So string and let's just call it nickname. And inside this function call the dog deep. Then let's have another function which return the age of the dog. So public static. And this is going to return an integer. And let's say the dog age is about two years old. This is a class for a specific dog called deep. Let's say you want to have another class, but that is for a cat. So cat.java. And basically we will just implement the same functions as well a nickname and an age. But instead of doing this in this manner, where it takes a long time to like say a specific nickname and an age for a specific animal, we can just make a what is called a parent class. So let me just call this animal dot Java. So this class would be the parent class or also known as the super class. And these class dog and cat is known as a subclass or you can also call it as a child class. So essentially all the functions that we have in here. So now it will just be nickname and age. The functions will also be used by dog and cat as well. So let me show you. We can just make a generic function. So we're calling it as nickname. So let me just copy this. This will just be generic function. And let's say if the nickname wasn't provided inside these classes, dog and cat, we can just put a random nickname here. So let's just put as cool. And then we'll also have an age. So let me just copy this. And if the age wasn't specified inside the dog and cat class, we can just implement the age as like negative one. And like now, since this is meant to be the child class dog and cat, we have to use extend and animal, which is the parent class. So dog is the child class and animal is the parent class. And now we've initialized the dog to be named as deep and the age to be two. And let me do something for the cat. We can just copy this and just implement the cat name as like, let's just call it Felix and age to be let's make the age as three. All right. And we have to extend the parent class. And now let's make a main class to actually run our code. So let's just call it as main dot Java. Let's just print out the dog's age and it should be two. So let's just do that. System dot out dog dot age. And remember, I can just print it out this manner because the function is static. Check out my other video, which explains the difference between static and non-static keywords. And now if I print this out, it should produce the number two, which is correct because this dog's age is two. But let's say we didn't initialize the age for the dog. And if you print out dog.age, now you'll see there's no error actually being produced. 
This is because if you go to the dog class, you can still see that the class actually extends animal. So even though there's no function for age in here, it still extends animal. So, so we'll use the function age inside animal class. So that means it will print out negative one. So if I just do this, it will print out negative one. But just by putting this function of age, the main function would automatically print out the age inside the class dog. So it'll print out two. This is a small concept about method overriding where essentially, even though you have an age here, this dog class actually extends the animal class, it does not print out negative 1, but instead it prints out the value 2. Now if I want to print out the dog's nickname, I can just do so. So I can just make it to the nickname and just print that out. And you'll see deep is produced. And I can do the same thing for cat as well. So if I just change dog to become cat and as you can see the cat nickname is actually called Felix so it will produce Felix. Alright, that's it for this video. I'm thinking of taking a small break from my Java tutorials and I'm thinking of doing something else. But if you enjoyed this tutorial so far, please leave a comment or a like or a subscribe and thank you for watching. Goodbye.